Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, and welcome to Meeting Expectations. If you're new here, what we do is we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer. <clears throat> then we uh, read what's on the label, what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. You know, if you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe, hit the bell button, that way you won't miss any of our presentations. And a thumbs up is always appreciated. All right, for those of you who have been here before, you know what to expect. Here we go. <clears throat> Coney Island Brewing Company, Mermaid Pilsner. 12 ounces, 5.2% uh, alcohol by volume. And it says it's got 30 IBUs, bright and crisp. They say to visit us uh, at Surf Avenue in Brooklyn, down on Coney Island, which is about, <coughs> I would say, maybe uh, <coughs> seven or eight miles away from here. Hmm? Five stops on the subway train. The usual warning by the Surgeon General. Uh, brewed and canned by Coney Island Brewing Company, Brooklyn, New York. All right, so what are we expecting? Well, a mermaid pilsner. That's kind of an interesting thought, but a pilsner, uh, bright, uh, shiny, uh, <coughs> a golden color, 5.2% alcohol, it's not too bad, uh, 30 uh, IBUs. It, it, it'll give you something to think about. Okay, let's crack this open and see if it meets expectations. Oh, yes. We do things a little bit differently here at the Old Growler. Most people have a, when they taste, they see, they sniff, and they sip. Well, here we see, we sip, and then sniff. Master sommelier Fred Dex will explain it all to you. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a nice crystal clear beer. That's pouring up good. Great carbonation. Uh, it looks there on the monitor kind of like I said, it's a more copper, but that's not. When I'm looking at it right here, that's a uh, straw colored gold. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> another thing. Since this is a Pilsner, it should be around 40 degrees temperature. Ales should be uh, served at 50 degrees. Perfect beer temperature, just check right up there and you can find out. Okay. Okay, we've got 50 degrees on the nose. This has been out <coughs> a little while. So what that's gonna mean is that we might have a little bit more intense uh, aromatics, a little bit more intense flavor. Well, let's give it a shot, cheers. Mmm. There's a, an immediate sweetness to it, but as soon as that sweetness hits, there is a, a very nice palate cleansing hop tang. Now, it's not identifiable uh, with, say, uh, uh, grapefruit or lemon or any of those others right now. It's just a nice, a nice cleansing tang. Oh, a lot of grain in there, boy. Like the aromas, that's a, a roasty, toasty grain. Um, kind of like if you take malt, uh, just plain old malt, and just kind of toast it up a little bit in a frying pan. That's that kind of aroma that you're going to get here. Well, another swig. Yep. There's a really nice, there's a really nice little bit of a, of a, of a, of a flavor spike that runs all over the top of the mouth and then disappears very quietly. Well, let's see. <coughs> Kearney Island Brewing Company Mermaid Pilsner. Did it meet expectations? It certainly did. I'm the old growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.